we're in a VW T6 and if you have this problem, so we've got the keys in the ignition, the ignition's on, dashboard's lit up, we turn the fan on, nothing on one, nothing on two, nothing on three, full on four. What that is, is your resistor pack is blown. So this is the fuse at the top and that's a thermal fuse so at some point that's got too hot and it's blown and what I've done is I've bridged it you can see the four prongs in there corresponding to the four legs and this gives you setting basically the three settings when the reason why it comes on on four is because it's by because it's bypassing this anyway so when you would be on one two or three the settings would be reducing the amount of resistance through this pack to give you the different speeds of the fans so it's really simple now this is located if we come down here underneath the dashboard we've taken out the plate there's the uh, electrical attachment and this is located in here but basically if I plug this in now and this is the old one which I've shorted so I bypassed the fuse the thermal fuse in it now I don't know if you can hear that but that's blowing on one two it's blowing more three it's blowing more mystery solved now be careful that is going to get very hot when it's been in use and obviously this is live at the moment so I'm going to turn off the ignition, we're going to remove this and we're going to be fitting this new one. So I went down to CVS in Canterbury and John behind the parts desk was, was very helpful and it turns out they actually, he, <laughs> even he was surprised, but they actually had one in stock. Uh, so I didn't need to order a new one. It comes with two replacement uh, screws, bolts and this is the new one on the left and the old one on the right. This is a 2018 van, so this is approximately five years old. Now I've already polished this back with a wire brush and a file um, yesterday, so this is actually looking a lot cleaner than it was, but you can see just how much corrosion was on it compared to the new one. And I think that's part of the problem. I think that these things just get very uh, corroded very quickly. Now it's probably partly to do with the fact that this thing, I mean, this is 109, I think it's 192 degrees, centigrade thermal fuse I might be wrong on that but basically obviously this thing is getting hot it's probably getting 160 170 degrees you can burn your fingers on it when you take it out if it's been used recently so you've got this piece of metal it's inside the van um, but it's constantly getting very very hot very very cold it's going for a lot of thermal cycling so I, I guess that's partly why um, it, it picks up this corrosion because um, it's just going, it's a very, very hostile environment for it really. Uh, moisture in the van will react to the fact that it's beer metal and um, it's getting hot, it's getting cold. So we've got these tabs on the side that you pull from the top. Yeah. That mate with the holes in the side wall on this. Okay, so we've got to make sure we get this the right way around and you can see that the cable wants the grooves at the top. So when we feed this in, we want to make sure that these grooves here and here are facing upwards. Let's move the cable out of the way for now. Okay, so that's lined up. it is back in place plugged in I've just got one more to tighten up but I'll just do a quick test okay. so, keys in the ignition so that's definitely blowing so that's working great So when you're putting this in, note there's a big hook here. That's where it hooks onto. Here's the 
is the part number. Um, it's not that part number, by the way. The part number on the system is a different part number. I'll see if I can provide that.